Hi, this is Amy Lewis with Cisco here on Engineers Unplugged. I'm here today with Andre and Chuck, and we are going to answer the important question, rather the important statement, be kind to your protocol, but how do you be kind to your protocol? Are you guys ready? Let's find out. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go for it. Are you ready, audience? All right, Andre. Hi, so uh, my name is Andre, and uh, I work for VMware in the office of CTO. I'm here with my colleague, um, Chuck Hirstius, also um, in the office of the CTO of VMware. And I would like to talk um, a little bit about protocol, and specifically in the VDI space. Um, so Chuck, I always talk to customers, and they always come up with questions about, you know, uh, why is my VDI session performing slow? What's happening to my protocol? Um, and I know that there is a number of things that can go wrong, um, specifically in different environments. Um, and you need to fine tune, um, you know, if in case you're using RDP or even if you're using PC over IP, there are a number of things that we need to think of and implement or, or remove to make things work properly. Um, so why don't you give us a little brief overview of your talks to customers. I know that you are a specialist in, in PC over IP and display protocols here at VMware. Um, and uh, yeah, let us know what you think, um, what do you say, the most um, critical pieces. So uh, if there's any one thing to learn to be kind to your protocol, it's this one thing. PC over IP is a real time protocol, so treat it as such. Uh, if you do nothing else, make sure that at all these points in between, you have appropriate quality of service applied to that protocol, right? It's, it's really imperative. The protocol is what connects the user to their desktop, and their user experience is wholly dependent upon the responsiveness of that connection. So since PC over IP is UDP based, just like VoIP, just like IP, telepresence, and other protocols like that, that everybody readily applies QoS to because they understand that it's, it's required for that protocol to operate, you've got to do that with, with PC over IP as well if you expect to have, you know, it, it, all the tuning and everything else and all the other issues that customers run into that they think they'll solve through tuning are usually solved by just following the initial best practices and the basics. So I think if you can do that, you're set. As far as latency jitter and everything else, look, a lot of that will get solved by the QoS. If you've got deep buffering going on, that's what's going to get that, those PC over IP packets out of that buffering queue. It's going to get them out of the scavenger queue and get them to that end user much more quickly. I, you know, I, I think we can go from there, but I know the QoS is way down, right down here, but on, on Chuck's list, it's up at the top. Please, peep, I'm begging you, please start there and then we'll work, we'll work our way down. Something else that I always, I always see in um, deployments is um, organizations mostly use the default settings that are, are come out of the box with PC over IP, and sometimes they're trying to do uh, things like just office and task worker, and there are certain things that we need to customize to make sure that we reduce bandwidth utilization. As Chuck mentioned, um, PC over IP is a real-time protocol and was designed to um, provide the best possible quality to the users and we will try to use most bandwidth as possible when it's available. So things like reducing the num number of frames per second um, if you're not using like video or high definition um, any video or, or um, like multimedia. High, yeah, multimedia, yeah. it's a good thing to do. I've seen deployments where um, you can go down to maybe 12 or 11 frames per second and it's still okay for task workers. Uh, something else, um, how does a bandwidth use, is utilized by PC over IP? What, how much bandwidth do I need yeah. for my task workers? What did you say about that? I, I, think, it's, I, I think it's important to uh, understand, uh, and Andre hinted at it, that PC over IP was designed and built out of the box to be an absolute high fidelity protocol, and the default settings reflect that. But they're really overkill in a lot of situations. So there's a lot of opportunity to dial things back, and it doesn't mean that you dial them back so that the user experience suffers. It really is an optimization of balancing an acceptable user experience, basically what the user needs, but managing the bandwidth that comes with it as well. You, know, you talked about the frames per second for an office worker. You can go as low as six or eight and still achieve a decent experience depending upon that workload. Now, when we talk about bandwidth, you know, with the improvements in View 5 and View 5.1, we've seen a, a tremendous reduction in that. And we've also seen additions to the protocol where um, there's now an unencrypted portion of that packet 
So I know Teradici is working with partners like Riverbed, they're working with Cisco, they're working with all of the network um, companies to get optimization of their protocol at the edge, and that's going to reduce bandwidth further. You know, I hate to give out a number. I know it's, it's engineers unplugged and we're supposed to be like, hey, it's good. But it, look, I'm not going to say it's 50K. Can you get a 50K session out of PC over IP now? Absolutely 100%. But you know what, your mileage may vary and it, it's not always going to be right for everyone. So it, it's really about understanding, you know, I had a session here, it's about understanding that trade-off between end user experience and the bandwidth number you want to do, subjective versus objective. Balancing those two things is the art of tuning PC over IP, and it's really something you need to know. If you call yourself a view admin, you've got to understand that trade-off. If you want to effectively, you know, balance those two needs, what your end users need versus what you're going to, the load you're going to put on your network. Good. And um, something else that's also very important, um, especially when you're trying to troubleshoot um, a scenario, is to understand how you capture the logs and how you understand the logs. And I know that Chuck, my colleague here, has <laughs> developed an awesome tool that is freely available in his website to look at those logs and tell you exactly um, what is happening in the environment from a protocol perspective. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, about your tool and where, where, where to go and download it? That's a, that's a personal question. Um, I don't know where to go with that. Uh, no, I'll get, I'll get inside. Um, <laughs> on my blog, uh, mindfluxinc.net, uh, there is a tool called the PC over IP Log Viewer. And to Andre's point, you know, part of understanding how to tune and what that protocol is doing and why our users might be having a poor experience is understanding what PC over IP itself does. It's an adaptive protocol, so it changes its behavior based on the networking conditions. If you don't understand how it's adapting, there's no way you're going to understand how to resolve the issues you're seeing. So you can go there, there's more information on the blog, I'm not going to give a dissertation on it here, uh, but you know, it, it's very useful. The ability to visualize what PC over IP is doing immediately aids your understanding and how to manage it. And it's going to tell you, you know, if you've talked to the network engineers and they told you they applied QoS, but you're still seeing a bunch of packet loss from the point of view of PC over IP, it's a great way to diagnose when that QoS has actually been applied properly. Uh, a, a common scenario I'll throw out is, you know, you have an organization that has many, many levels of QoS on their LAN, and then you're passing that traffic out of a LAN circuit, and most circuit carriers or ISPs will only honor four levels of QoS. So you take eight, and when they get coalesced to four for your carrier, PC over IP ends up in the scavenger queue. It didn't actually get prioritized and it's dead on the wire. So you're still seeing poor performance, but everybody in the network is telling you that QoS has been applied. You're going to be able to visualize that with this tool, and you're going to know when you get it right. I think, you know, sorry. I, say, I think that, you know, the key thing to do is understand your users, follow the basics, follow the best practice, uh, best practices, practice I, whatever that is, and then uh, get out and, and, you know, again, be kind to your protocol. Treat it right and it will treat you right. Yeah, I completely agree with Chuck. Um, and also you'll be able to find some more information around not only PC over IP, but more about VMware View and how to stand up and how to configure um, in my blog, myvirtualcloud.net. Uh, go there and there are a number of articles that will help you to um, understand better how not only the protocol works, but how the whole infrastructure um, and that's it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Chuck. Thank you, Andre. We just have one more little portion of Engineers Unplugged because this is the dream. If you're going to be kind to your protocol, you also have to be kind to your unicorn. So it's unicorn drawing time. Are you ready? Draw a unicorn. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Chuck. It's Chuck's turn. You get to commentate this time. There you go, Chuck. He, he probably is going to start with the tail. N no. So it's clear that this is not a unicorn, but a, we will think it is. Um, it's in the cloud, as you can see. Um, there, yeah, yeah. It has, it's, it's more about a camel. <laughs> and there, it, it's a bull. <laughs> no, it's transforming. There we go. Awesome, Chuck. Awesome job. Unicorns in the cloud. Perfect. <laughs> Unicorns poop rainbows, according to Chuck. I, you know, I think Chuck really pulled it out there in the, uh, there you go. Be kind to your protocols, be kind to your unicorns, and uh, great job. So uh, that's all from Engineers Unplugged. We'll see you at engineersunplugged.com. Until next time. <laughs>